Hi, welcome back to BKM Tech and Gadgets. My name's Kevin. So this is the Pixel 4a 5G, which has been out now for a few months, which is a really good phone. And I'm really impressed with this phone. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do a review on this phone and just go through the reason why this phone is still good in 2021. So let's waste no more time. Let's get into the video. So, I want to start off with the price of the Pixel 4a 5G because the Pixel 4a and 5 are in the budget price range uh, of these phones, the Pixel phones. So the Pixel 4a is £349 and the Pixel 4a 5G is £499 and the Pixel 5 is £699. So, um, I don't think the Pixel 5 is worth getting for the price. It is slightly better build uh, quality, slightly better screen at 90 hertz and smaller than the Pixel 4a 5G. So I don't think it's worth the extra 200 pound for the Pixel 5. So I think the Pixel 4a 5G is in the middle ground of these Pixel phones. With the Pixel 4a, you will get a bit slower processor no wide angle camera, a smaller screen display, no 5G and not as smooth as the Pixel 4a 5G. So to clarify, the Pixel 4a 5G is a 6.2 OLED screen and is 60 hertz. Uh, the Pixel 5 is 90 hertz. I think th this is really still good as how smooth it is with stock Android. The processor is a Snapdragon 765G and it's not the best Snapdragon processor, but you're not paying for the Pixel 5, you're paying for the Pixel 4a 5G, which is a lot cheaper and not paying flagship prices. So with games, games do work very well on the Pixel 4a 5G. So I've got a game here, which it just runs really well. Games work great and applications work well watching YouTube videos and editing uh, photos, Word documents, etc. run great uh, on the Pixel 4a 5G considering the price. You will also get the latest updates for the next three years on this phone and you'll get them a lot quicker than any other Android phones like Samsung and this is currently running Android uh, 11 which is stock Android and getting all the Pixel features does also come with a headphone jack socket there as well so that's really good so if you've not got any wireless earbuds you can still have that option the sound on this is really good as well stereo speakers as opposed to the pixel 4a which has a single firing speaker at the bottom so the pixel 4a 5g has dual stereo speakers which sound really good when listening to music or watching YouTube videos and is very loud and does not distort and sound good and I rate the speakers on this phone. This phone is not IP rated or dust rated so don't get water on this phone so I'd recommend a case uh, on this phone. It's a Gorilla 3 so I have a screen protector on mine, so I'd advise you to get a screen, screen protector on this uh, phone, well, on the screen. And there's no wireless charging on this phone like the Pixel 5, um, but does have fast charging, which is 18 watts. Not the fastest, but I have no issues with charging. It takes about an hour and a half to charge up. The battery life on this phone is excellent uh, on this phone, and you can get about five to seven hours screen time and performance on this phone is great. So I can say this is a great phone for the price. And if you want a cheap Android phone, this is the phone to get over the Pixel 5, which has a 90 hertz screen and wireless charging, which if you're not bothered about is bang on the price. 
you don't get face unlock or an in display screen fingerprint scanner, but you do get the old school back fingerprint scanner, which is quick and easy and reliable to use. So if you just touch your finger on the back, that's the phone unlocked and it's so reliable to use. But where this phone really steps up the game is with the camera, which is a 12.2 megapixel camera and a 16 megapixel wide angle, which is not on the Pixel 4a. So the Pixel 4a has a standard camera on the back. So the Pixel 4a 5G uses Google AI and software for the camera, which is really good. So you can step up your pictures and video to rival other flag flagship phones uh, with this camera, which cost a lot more than this phone in its price range. Yes, the iPhone 12 is a good camera, but the Pixel 4a 5G comes very close and is, in, and is good in low light situations, which some other phones struggle with. So Google have nailed it with the performance and price, has a nice screen, could be a bit better if they increase the screen refresh rate, but the price is holding that back. Build quality is good and could be better. But the performance and updates and good battery life you will get with this phone make it a good buy in 2021. So I would definitely recommend this phone to anyone who wants a mid-range budget phone with really good features. So that was my review on the Pixel 4a 5G in 21 as I've been I've had this phone for about three months. Let me know what you think. So like, subscribe, comment on my videos on BKM Tech and Gadgets. And I hope to see you all soon. So take care and look after yourself.